since the Mormon Church teaching is that the Father is their quote-unquote God and Jesus is a separate quote-unquote God, they are constantly violating the command to not have another God before their Father God. The Book of Mormon teaches that Jesus is God, is worshipped, is prayed to, is the only name given where men must be saved. So basically their quote-unquote God depends upon another God to be able to get his people quote-unquote saved. So either Mormons are not allowed to worship the quote-unquote God who actually saves them, even though the Book of Mormon teaches that they must worship Jesus, or else they worship or serve two or more quote-unquote gods. Before listing these verses, here is a verse from the Doctrine and Covenants, which also says that the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are one God, but teaches to worship the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Doctrine and Covenants, section 20, verses 27 through 29, as well as those who should come after who should believe in the gifts and callings of God by the Holy Ghost, which beareth record of the Father and of the Son, which Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are one God, infinite and eternal without end. Amen. And we know that all men must repent and believe on the name of Jesus Christ, and worship the Father in his name, and endure in faith on his name to the end, or they cannot be saved in the kingdom of God. Book of Mormon, Mosiah chapter 12, verse 35. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Second Nephi chapter 25, verses 28 and 29. And now behold, my people, ye are a stiff-necked people. Wherefore I have spoken plainly unto you that ye cannot misunderstand. And the words which I have spoken shall stand as a testimony against you, for they are sufficient to teach any man the right way. For the right way is to believe in Christ and deny him not, for by denying him ye also deny the prophets and the law. And now behold, I say unto you that the right way is to believe in Christ and deny him not, and Christ is the Holy One of Israel. Wherefore ye must bow down before him and worship him, with all your might, mind, and strength, and your whole soul, and if ye do this ye shall in no wise be cast out. Mormon chapter 3 verse 21 and also that ye may believe the gospel of Jesus Christ which ye shall have among you, and also that the Jews, the covenant people of the Lord, shall have other witness besides him whom they saw and heard, that Jesus whom they slew was the very Christ and the very God. Third Nephi chapter 19 verse 18 and behold, they began to pray, and they did pray unto Jesus, calling him their Lord and their God. Third Nephi chapter 19, verse 25. And it came to pass that Jesus blessed them as they did pray unto him, and his countenance did smile upon them, and the light of his countenance did shine upon them. And behold, they were as white as the countenance and also the garments of Jesus. And behold, the whiteness thereof did exceed all the whiteness. Yea, even there could be nothing upon earth so white as the whiteness thereof. Mosiah chapter 3, verse 17 and 18. And moreover I say unto you that there shall be no other name given, nor any other way, nor means whereby salvation can come unto the children of men, only in and through the name of Christ the Lord Omnipotent. For behold, he judgeth, and his judgment is just, and the infant perisheth not that dieth in his infancy, but men drink damnation to their own souls, except they humble themselves and become as little children, and believe that salvation was and is and is to come in and through the atoning blood of Christ the Lord Omnipotent. Mosiah chapter 3 verse 21 and behold, when that time cometh, none shall be found blameless before God, except it be little children, only through repentance and faith on the name of the Lord God Omnipotent. 
let's look at the definition of the word omnipotent as given in Webster's Second New Riverside Dictionary. Omnipotent, quote, having absolute power or authority, end quote. By definition, it is impossible for two omnipotent beings to exist anywhere, be it heaven, earth, or anywhere. Absolute power cannot be challenged. If you had two beings with quote-unquote absolute power, they could challenge each other, which by definition would mean that neither of them had absolute power. Book of Mormon, Mosiah, Chapter 4, Verse 2 and they had viewed themselves in their own carnal state, even less than the dust of the earth. And they all cried aloud with one voice, saying, O oh, have mercy, and apply the atoning blood of Christ, that we may receive forgiveness of our sins, and our hearts may be purified. For we believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who created heaven and earth and all things, who shall come down among the children of men. Now did Jesus create heaven and earth and all things, or did some committee of quote-unquote gods do it? The Pearl of Great Price, Abraham chapter 4, verse 1, quote, And then the Lord said, Let us go down, and they went down at the beginning. And they, that is, the gods, organized and formed the heavens and the earth, end quote. Book of Mormon, 2 Nephi, chapter 11, verse 7. For if there be no Christ, there be no God, and if there be no God, we are not. For there could have been no creation. But there is a God, and he is Christ, and he cometh in the fullness of his own time. 